Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have a very interesting article here where Romania demands Russia stops attacking Ukraine. Demands. And uh, we find out that uh, the Russian attaché to Romania was summoned and was called it by the big nation of Romania or else. Now, I did some research on some names because uh, it's always, always, always important to look as much as you can in someone's um, private life, you know, uh, successes in life, past, let's put it this way. And you're gonna find a lot of garbage. So, let's look at this little article here, coming from the Kiev Independent. And it's from September 10th, 2023. And here is Luminitsa. This uh, article's title is Bucharest, the capital of Romania, demands end to Russian attacks after finding drone debris on Romanian territory. Well, I understand uh, that should be done. You talk with the other country and say, hey, you know, what's going on over here? Tra -la -la. You demand, okay, or and what? Or else. All right, so uh, this is the person, okay, and she is right here, says that she is the foreign minister of Romania, Luminita Odobescu. Luminita is the first name, uh, that in, in translation is uh, the little light, like little light, Luminita. And uh, she speaks, all okay, right, so this is Luminita. So I said, who the hell is Luminita? I will look into her past. Uh, after I'm reading the article a little bit, okay? Let's see who Luminitsa is. Now, Romanian Foreign Ministry summoned the head of the Russian mission in the country to answer for how Russian drone debris ended up in Romanian territory of September 9th. Fragments of the drone were found on the Romanian side of the Boris border with Ukraine after explosions. The Romanian statement called it a violation of its airspace and condemned Russia's systematic unwarranted and barbaric attacks against Ukraine's people and civilian infrastructure. I'm very interested to know what the uh, Russian uh, guy said to all this, to Luminitsa. Uh, Luminitsa, I will break the news, um, she is uh, the foreign minister, correct? Yeah, but her education is in economics. It's okay, no problem. That's exactly what she knows best. No, international relations with, with countries. She has a degree in economics, but I will look into that deeper when I'm going to show you her past a little bit. Interesting, very interesting. Now, according the Russian drones believed to pop up, up uh, believed to be targeting Ukrainian port on the Danube River, which flows through the area. After more Moscow pop up, pop, Bucharest initially didn't done it. President uh, Johannes condemned the incident. Okay, the identification today, this deeply unjustified at attacks violate the norms of international law and constitute war crimes. Okay, I never heard Romania, never heard Romania condemning the invasion of Iraq. I never heard Romania condemning the attack of uh, Yugoslavia. Um, I never heard them say that. And I think they violate certain kind of uh, international uh, norms and all that. No? Okay. Maybe it's just my... All right. So, you see, this article doesn't tell us what the Russian told Luminitsa. All right? Doesn't tell us. I'm very curious what he said. He said, uh, I, I'm surprised he showed up. I think he showed up from or courtesy to respect his himself. Well, let's let's see what's going on. Who's Luminitsa? Luminitsa, here she is, is a very educated person in economics, right? Is a Romanian ambassador and diplomat who has served as minister, who has served as minister of foreign affairs since 2023. She previously served as pre uh, presidential advisor in the European Affairs Department from 2021 to 2023. Education. Graduated the Faculty of Commerce uh, at the Academy of Economic Studies in Bucharest in 1992. After graduation, she became, pay attention here, 
and they use this as a fantastic thing. It's not a fantastic thing. After graduating, she became a researcher at the Virgil Maguriano National Institute until 1995. Now, if you know who Virgil Maguriano was, you would say, ah, oh, <laughs> okay, hey, I have Virgil Maguriano's bio as well too. And I'm going to show you who Virgil Maguriano. So she was the researcher at this National Institute of Virgil Maguriano. He was a, um, a guy who worked with a secret police during Ceausescu's times. And he was uh, a little bit on the peril of uh, certain um, agencies, outside agencies, uh, located um, north east of Romania. Yeah, uh, Moscow. <laughs> uh, was he an agent? Oh, no. All right. He, let, wait. So she, they say it here. She did that. Fantastic. From 1995 to 1999, she uh, held various positions. Okay, so remember, she graduated in 1992. All right, she's born in 69, correct? 69, 79, 89, right? 90, so she was 23 years old. A 23 year old, she graduated, okay? And then in 1995, so three years, three years at 25, right? At 25, 26, she held various positions in the European Union division of the Department to Foreign Trade. A graduate of college, nothing extraordinary so far. Now you tell me, she was a researcher at Virgil Maguriano. So what doors were open for her? I don't know, I'm not saying, but it's kind of strange. A lot of people graduated and did not at 25, became uh, held various positions in the European Union division of the Department of Foreign Trade. Good for her. She worked just fine from 1999. So that would be what at 30 when she was 30 to 2002. She was head of unit at the same department where she was responsible for the management of trade relations between European communities and Romania in the framework of the European Union Association Agreement. So at 30. Have you been 30? What did you achieve by 30? More than her? She was in big organizations, European organizations. She was the head. So you see, I made another video. I don't know. I don't have the evidence to support any crazy claims. I just ask questions. We've been 30. I've been 30. I know where I was when I was 30. She was very fast going up. Very fast. Like others. Like others. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, you think that's a coincidence? Me too. Me too. So, Odobescu, she obtained a PhD in international economic relations, economic relations, from the Academy of Economic Studies in Bucharest in 2003. Very good. She was capable of taking a PhD while doing all those jobs that she did in the European Union. All right. Now, I'm just mentioning this for you. I'm not going to mention it. Fuck it. All right. So, <laughs> here it is. Uh, Odobescu held various positions. Very good. Good for you. Good for you. And we're going to go now to see Virgil Maguriano, this guy right here. That I said I will look over. Romanians know kind of who the guy is, okay? Virgil Maguriano, you can find him uh, in many uh, locations. So he is a Romanian sociologist <laughs> that was the head of the main intelligence service of Romania, Serviciul Român de Informații, or SRI. Romanian intelligence service between March 26, 1990, right after the re revolution, after Ceausescu was gone, and April 20, uh, 1997, when he resigned following a disclosure about his personal wealth made at television while Virgil Magriano was among the invited people. Magriano was one of the members of the military tribunal, please pay attention to this, that sentenced the death of both Ceausescu and his wife Elena in December 25, and we are a Christian nation, aren't we? The Christmas Day, 1989, the former communist leaders of Romania. Now, according to the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, United States of America, Maguriano was named to the post primarily on the basis of his quote-unquote dissident status. So supposedly he was against Ceausescu, but he was on the payroll of the Soviets. <laughs> 
some people say. I don't know if that's true. So he was primarily because of that. He was in the room when Ceausescu was, was sentenced to death. Somehow he and uh, other wizards over there, Victor Stanculescu, Athanasius Stanculescu, the general, who took Ceausescu and dropped him. These guys were on the payroll. And some other ones over there, Voiculescu and others. So, based on his teachings at the Communist Party Social Science Academy, you know, during 1980s, initially Magurianu managed to hide, hide his membership in the Securitate. Securitate was the popular term for department, Secretariat Statuli, the secret police agency. Previously, before the Communist regime, Romania's secret police was called Siguranza Statuli. So, he was a weasel. So, he was a member of the security, Supposedly he was a dissident. He was in the room when Ceausescu was sentenced. He was orchestrated. Then after the revolution succeeded, obviously, they appointed him because he was a dissident. At the post of uh, CRI, CIA, let's put it like this, in Romania. And then he fucked up. It's not all. It's not all. And then they found out his wealth, his corruption, and being on the payroll of someone else and being a, fro a member of security. So when she... Odobescu Luminita graduated the fantastic, uh, uh, <coughs> not graduated, worked for the National Bababa Virgil Magurianu Research Center. She uh, was in a fucking liars uh, guy. I, could, I, I almost can call him, uh, starts with a T. Uh, not TT, but something else. So, wait, it's not all done. Western intelligence services discovered that immediately after his appointment in April 1990, so Romania was away from Soviet Union. We broke. Baba Magurianu met secretly with KGB chief Evgeny Primakov without informing the political authorities in Romania. Uh, people who work for KGB do that. Okay, not people who don't work for KGB. Magurianu's KGB's contacts remain, remained unknown to the Romanian presidency and government until 2003 when the Western service that monitored those contacts informed Bucharest. So, if, who is this guy? On, okay. So, that thing with Luminitsa, and it's not only that. It's more than that. You can read it. And something I want to point out is this gentleman right here, Larry Watts. Uh, that's an American scholar, married with a Romanian as far as I know. And uh, he wrote some books about Romania. And not only, so this is the guy. I have this one, this, uh, him. Perește Madonna de Prieten, războiul clandestin al blocului sovietic în România. Larry L. Watts. I bought one, this one in 2012. All right. So that means uh, uh, keep me safe from, uh, God keep me safe from friends. All right. So uh, he talks about the revolution and so on. I highly recommend this book look at it all right i think he wrote it in english as well you can find him online you can find him online uh some speeches he speaks romania romanian so watch this one uh watch read read my friends so this is luminitza uh luminitza fantastic a little light uh do you think that she is part of something do you think i don't know i would give her 90 percent that she is not uh you know and then she, some, she spoke this guy, she comes and says and whatever. I wonder what the Russians said during the meeting. You see, they didn't mention that at all. Probably he said, you know what? You ought to you would do yeah. Oh, probably. Beat it. Anyway, I'm just saying. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Romania demanded. Imagine, I mean, I like when Romania has balls, but I'm... I'm what I see behind this one is um, Romania being uh, used and pushed towards something. And that's not good for Romania. They will destroy you. And I'm not talking about the Russians. They will be the... It's like the Romans. Remember with Jesus Christ. They will destroy you. The Romans. All right. The same here. The Russians will be the hand that will crucify but who makes the decisions and who pushes and who creates the whole thing? Someone else in Jerusalem. Watch it, my friends. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just your friends.